Now, this following tech tip is actually something we discussed recently in a uh, Friendly Disruption podcast, which we talked about OCR tools. Then we talked about personalized learning with Noreen Bush. Uh, so if you are interested in learning more about accessibility, UDL, and all that, please give us a listen at FriendlyDisruptionPodcast.com. Um, you'll find that and a lot of great information. You see that we have a lot of great podcasts here. We do one recording a month, but if you like what you're about to hear, give us a listen here on Friendly Disruption Podcast. Now there's a feature built into both Google Drive and Google Keep that many students and teachers could find very useful. That's the OCR functionality, which is optical character recognition, which means that these tools can actually pull the text off of an image of, let's say this, a book. So I have a book here, Innovator's Mindset, great book by George Kuros. And let's say now I want to use that text maybe with a dictionary tool like Google Dictionary Chrome extension, or I want to use a translation tool, or I want to use a text leveling tool, or I just want to do a text-to-speech tool so that I can have it read to me. Now, all those examples, you add them up, and then it's a lot of different students that could be using this tool, and even educators ourselves could be using it. And so all I have to do is I took a picture of the book with my phone, add it to a Google Keep note, and now in my browser, I can go to the three little dots here, now I can go to grab image text and it's actually going to pull the text from that image. Now, the clearer the image of the text is, the better they pick the angle of the shot, the better it's going to be able to pull that text out. It's not going to be perfect 100%, but it's going to work pretty well. And so I can easily now work with this text. And so if you have a document lying around that maybe you've been using for a while or a printed book, printed something, and you want to be able to use these digital tools to make the learning more accessible for students, Google Keep can help you with that. Or if I go into my Google Drive, I've uploaded that same image of the book, and now I can right click, open with Google Docs. And what it's going to do is it's going to place the image into a file, a Google Doc file, and then it's going to actually pull the text out and we'll see that text below it. Interesting thing is, as the book uses different font styles, you'll actually see those a difference in the font styles of the pulled out text. Um, so again, here it's going to be loading up the image. Again, how long this takes will depend on what you're looking at. Um, you see Google Keep worked really quickly, but I may be able to do more with it inside of my Google Doc. So if I go down here, you can see I now have that text, and it's actually interesting because here's that different style of text. Now again, it may not be 100% perfect, so maybe take images of only the text you really need uh, but it can work really, really well. Again, a Chrome extension to define it, like Google Dictionary, a text-to-speech tool like uh, you know Snap and Read or Read and Write or Speak It, which is a free Chrome extension. Again, I could use Google Translate to translate this if I have an ELL student. Uh, there are a lot of different ways now I can use this, what was inaccessible text, in an accessible way to help out my learners. So give it a shot, try it out. Uh, and you're going to find that you probably can do a lot of different things using this functionality built both into Google Drive and Google Keep.